We have arrived in France. Um, the castle, Pierrefonds, is absolutely amazing. The, the history and, and everything around the place um, is, is just fantastic. As you can see, the courtyard of Pierrefonds is absolutely amazing. The scale of it is just huge. And welcome to a beautiful sunny day in Pierrefonds. Here's the here's the castle. Surprisingly, I'm not in my chainmail. Uh, I'm in a quite warm leather-lined jacket to to make up for it. Let's see. Colin doing his homework. It's it's kind of annoying actually because. Anytime the sun comes out, um, I have somebody come along with an umbrella to block the sun rays so I don't get burned because you can't have me <laughs> looking tanned in, in one scene and then pasty Irish boy in the next. Colin's been told off in order to move out of the sun into the shade because he keeps getting a tan. Arthur in the, the first episode, he uh, Merlin has the, the misfortune to meet, meet Arthur when he's with his when he's with his friends and he's sort of uh, you know showing off. This will teach him. Yeah. <laughs> teach him at least. Because Arthur and Merlin don't get on at the start at all. Hey, come on, that's enough. What? You've had your fun, my friends. Do I know you? I'm Merlin. So I don't know you. No. Yet you called me friend. That was my mistake. You might think so. Yeah. I'd never have a friend who could be such a nice. We did on Friday where we meet Arthur for the first time. Tell me, Merlin, do you uh, know how to walk on your knees? Things don't get off to a great start when they meet each other. Do they, Merlin? No, yeah, whatever. Oh, whatever. Oh. See, this is what goes on. He just bullies me on set and off set. It's just it's like a constant thing. I mean, since we've come to France, it's got really bad. Oh, has it? Yeah, it has. Oh, it's really bad, is it? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry that, that you're being bullied, Merlin. Right, everyone, okay. Everyone loves Colin. Oh, he's so nice. He's so innocent. You know, oh, Colin, oh, sorry. Oh, Bradley, yeah. Don't worry about Bradley. He's fine. Yeah, he's, he'll, he'll, you know, whatever. Colin, oh, oh, we'll look after Colin, oh. If, if I wasn't here to give Colin Morgan a hard time. Come on, then. <laughs> well, let's just say it, it's lucky that I'm here to give Colin Morgan a hard time because it's doing him a world of good. I warn you. I've been trained to kill since birth. Wow. And how long have you been training to be a prat? The relationship between Bradley and Colin has, has sort of been a slow burner because Colin's quite reserved and he keeps himself to himself and, you know, he's, he's always polite. And so it takes a little bit longer just to sort of get to know him. Oh, don't run away. <laughs> From you? Oh, thank God. I thought you were deaf as well as dumb. What? <laughs> Did you say something? <laughs> what? It's, are you mouthing something to the camera? Uh, what? What? Are you? What? Um, no. Um, no. I. Uh, you bet nothing. Don't do it again. Sorry. Don't keep doing it. I can see exactly what you're doing because I've got a screen here that shows me what's going on. Cool. Hi, gorgeous. Hi. What is that? Sorry, no, you're That's more like it. You're getting some gems here, aren't you? I'm getting some absolute getting, gold dust. You're getting everybody at their best because it's actually the end of the day and everybody's always at their best. Well, that is there when they're at the best because they're less on guard. C'est possible. With Colin, I, I started off and we I really didn't get his sense of humour.
And then when he said a joke, I, I was left nonplussed. But as time has gone on, I've, um, I've suddenly learned about all these endearing qualities that he has. I wanted to say, I made a mistake. And everyone else was talking about, oh, we love Colin, oh, he's, Colin, Colin's great. Uh, all right, yeah, whatever. Um, but it turns out he is, he is, he is pretty special. And I'm, I've started to find him very funny. He cracks these jokes. I've, I've now attuned to his sense of humour, which often is quite dark. Have you been to Cardiff before? Are there any ginger people in Cardiff? Um, I think there are one or two. Um, um, no, I'm not really looking forward to going to Cardiff. No, fair enough. Uh, the only acceptable form of racism um, being that of racism against gingers, apparently. I personally don't take part in such forms of racism. Um, Bullies me all the time. <laughs> you shut up! You shut the hell up! Now smile! Smile, goddammit, smile! That your and Arthur's path lies together is but the truth. Oh, yeah. How big was that spider? <laughs> When you close in, yeah, uh, it looks pretty big. It's massive. Yeah, it was huge. Oh, I haven't got much time because the battery's running out. But um, I'm about to um, uh, trap and trap the spider because it's just sat in my bathtub. It's, it's, it may not look that big, but if you just, it's pretty massive. It's pretty big. So let's see if this works. I just heard this kind of noise going on next door, and then I knock on my door, and I was like, "What?" He's like, "Colin." Come and see this. Oh, he's, he's slower than I thought he would be. This is the quick one you want to watch out for. Come on, mate. Right. Um. Oh, bugger. Oh. Just go with it. Just go with it. Just go with it. Just go with it. Yes. 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 Right. Triumphant. Now he's triumphant. And once again, the balance is restored to nature. <laughs> what does that even mean? I have no idea. You know, young warlock, this is not the end. It is the beginning. Bradley's have played the odd practical joke. I suppose I could call it a practical joke. Welcome to Operation... Change the sign on Angel's hotel room door. Shit. Yeah. I often find my hotel do not disturb sign has been turned round when I get a day off so it says please can you make up my room so I'll get like a knock on the door at like whatever nine o'clock in the morning when I'm trying to have a light in I'm like badly. <laughs> the previous sign incorrectly inaccurately read something about do not disturb. So she can't hear. We took this sign it says please do not disturb that she had on her door for tomorrow. I'm replacing it with something like this. Je m'appelle Ogil. Je suis loser. <laughs> oh, Angel will think we're so funny. We're going to Angel's room. We're taking our shoes off. So that she doesn't hear us. As you may have guessed, we like to take our level of pranks to um, extremely high, highly intellectual level. Je m'appelle Angel. Je suis loser. The only problem is, I've got to wait till like morning for the payoff. For the payoff. <laughs> and we might not even be here for it. She might just open the door and be like, oh, that was. At least at the best, the French people won't clean your room. 
Okay, so I think she's a stringer clean path loser. In a land of flags, castles and fire, only one man can save the day. That man is Merlin. Watch me. Uh, You're braver than you look. My servants collapse after the first blow. With the help of his buddy Arthur. Not so much. A lot. A lot of help from me. Me. With me. And a little bit of murder. Me.